Today I'm going to be talking about how a search engine might work, but first, my name is Steve Smith, this is TQA Weekly, and if you go to tqaweekly.com, you'll see at the top of the page there is a keyword search engine, one of the two kinds of search engines we will be talking about today. So let's focus on something that occurred before search engines, the fact that for a lot of you youths out there, we had to use Usenet, BBS, or word of mouth in order to know anything about any given website on the internet. Yes, there was a time pre-Google, pre-Yahoo on top of that, and pre-Archie. Don't know what Archie is? Well, Archie was a search engine put out in 1990 by Alan M. Taj from McGill University from my hometown of Montreal, and it was the first search engine. And before Google was a thing, we had Alta Vista and even Yahoo. Yeah, Yahoo still technically exists. And then in September 4, 1998, we finally got Google. Now, the difference between a site search based on keywords and a search engine like Google that uses Bellinian might seem trivial, but it is actually very important to know what the difference is so that you change your style of search based on the search engine. And also keep in mind that it doesn't matter necessarily what you put into the search engine. If the search engine itself decides entirely how to present all the information to you after. So it's a two step thing, search and present. And this is why Google does get a lot of flack for using a kind of math that does actually rank some sites better than others. So, cause they also use ranking at the same time. So let's talk about the site searches that use keywords. Now, the thing is, is that unless they're screening for certain words, every word in a search query will be looked for amongst all of the databases that a website has available to it. So if you write inside of something that you're looking for graphics cards and processors, which is something you might actually write on my website, what ends up happening is you're looking up the word graphics, cards, and processors. You've got four poles of possible information that will not be included altogether because you have the word and, it will actually look up every single one of these words. And if it doesn't filter out the word and, every article with the word and will also show up, meaning that in my case, when you're listening and to this episode, you would actually have the chance of pulling up all 414 episodes on my website with just one word. Yes, I know it's completely ludicrous, but that's how a keyword search engine works if there's no filter. At one point, I will deal with that. But that is how a keyword search engine works. And that is why you have to be super precise. If you're looking for graphics cards and processors, what you actually write is graphics cards processors. Leave every other word that has nothing to do with anything, what we call extraneous words, out of keyword search engines, and you won't have every single page related to them show up on the search results. Now, a Bellinian search is different. It uses calculations based on language and will use two terms, yellow and banana. Why? Because various words can trigger different search parameters for Bellinian search language. So if we're looking for everything that is yellow or banana, we would write yellow or banana. And what that would do is return everything that is yellow or a banana. Now, that is the most broad kind of search that you can get with a Boolean search query. And that is troublesome because that's not actually all that accurate. If you really wanted to be super accurate, you have two different other kinds of terms. You have yellow and banana, which means it would look up for everything that is yellow and a banana. Or if you don't want bananas, you could actually go yellow, but not bananas. And you can actually write that out and it would search for everything that was yellow, but just not banana. So it would return yellow trucks, yellow cars, yellow ladders, yellow towers, but nothing related to bananas itself. There are other triggers in there. In Google, you can write the year 
dot dot then another year to limit you can write site colon and then the domain for the website you want to look within but those are generally other kinds of triggers that you can use inside of a Boolean search query to allow yourself to be even more accurate but that doesn't change anything if the search engine is actually working against you or using other kinds of information to rank information differently what am i getting at the search results page is actually the second thing that has to do with search engines. So keyword searches and Bellinian search engines don't differ in the way that we present the information. What differs is why the information is presented in a specific way. You have ways of either delivering by date, relevance, or many other factors at the same time, such as page rank, the amount of changes, or consistency of a website. You can have websites that are extremely accurate but don't really change all that much that end up ranking really low for some reason, whereas websites that have a lot more content would rank a lot higher on there. So the way that you make the query is important, but you also have to keep in mind that for some people, the way companies decide the relevance related to you is also important. And the way that Google does it doesn't necessarily come off as wrong. It's just that if what you're looking for just happens to be what Google keeps putting up to you, then that must be working for you. And that is because it's related to what you're looking for and also personalized to you, which is something else entirely because you also have the ability to have personalized search results whether it's based on region, location, time of day, or even yourself. And that is something that the programmer who takes the query, filters it out and decides what's relevant and in what order it should show up on a page is in complete control of. How does a search engine work? It's simple. You either have a keyword search engine that will search for every word that you're looking for, Boolean search engine that filters using calculations based on natural language, and then the programmer takes that information, looks through all the databases, decides what's more relevant to you or the query, and then just puts it on the page in whatever order they deem is more accurate to the actual search itself. And whether you like it or not, that's actually how it works. It seems super complicated, but the only thing complicated is Bellinian search algorithms and everything else is actually quite simple to program. So like if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, share it with those that you think can benefit from this, and don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, suggestions for topics, email me at askatqaweekly.com. Go to my website, tqaweekly.com, where you can become a member and enjoy episodes two days in advance of everyone else. Go to the homepage and search for anything that you're looking for on our website. And of course, support us in many ways, some even free. So you can all do that. Thank you for watching and goodbye.